In this question, a composite lens is placed coaxially in the path of a cylindrical light, beam of diameter 5 cm. This beam is of diameter 5 cm. As shown the figure, the composite lens is made by gluing two plano convex lenses. Diameters of the first and second lens are 1 cm and 5 cm. This lens has diameter 1 cm and sorry, this lens has diameter 1 cm and this lens total this is diameter 5 cm and their focal lengths are 10 cm this is 10 and uh, this is 20 cm weight to the right of the lens a screen should be placed to obtain a light spot of a smallest a smallest diameter on it so we have uh, uh, two plano convex lens uh, like system this is one and this is another but uh, this plano convex lens is not covering this lens completely in some part there is overlapping and in other part this is the only lens available so this system can be thought of as a combination of two lenses in this region so we will find the equivalent focal length in this particular region and for this and this region there will be a single lens whose focal length will be 20 cm. So this has focal length 20 cm and for this combination, this will work as a combination of two, uh, two lenses and for that we have to find the equivalent focal length. So let us first find the equivalent focal length for the middle overlapping region and I am applying the formula for equivalent focal length. So 1 by f is equal to 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2 so one focal length is 10 <coughs> another focal length is 20 both will be positive both are like uh, convex converging lengths 1 by 20 plus 1 by 10 so this is like 2 by 20 this is 3 by 20 for focal length f is equal to 20 by 3 so this reason this reason will behave like a combination of two lenses whose uh, equivalent focal length is 20 by 3 cm. Diameter of this uh, is equal to the beam diameter which is 5 cm and diameter of this is equal to 1 cm. So let us draw a diagram and I am drawing uh, this lens just by a line so that the diagram is simple geometrically. So let's say this is the bigger one, this is the bigger one and in between this is the smaller one. Before that we should draw this optical axis. So this is the optical axis, in between this is the smaller lens. The rays which are coming parallel, rays are coming parallel to the optical axis and this will be focused, focused at a distance equal to the focal length. For this focal length is, it has focal length 20 cm, for this lens the focal length is 20 cm, this is f20 and for this middle region the focal length will be 20 by 3. So okay, keep, keeping this thing in mind. Suppose these are the green rays coming like this and this will be converged at a distance of 20 cm. So let me assume 20 cm is somewhere here and rays are going like this. Rays will not stop. So rays are going like this 20 cm. From here also, rays are going like this 20 cm. So this is the point which is at a distance of 20 cm from this uh, combination of lenses. Now I am showing the overlapping rays, rays in the overlapping region by red. 
in between rays i am not showing just the extreme rays i am showing these rays will be converged at a distance of 20 by 3 so 20 by 3 this is 20 and this is 20 by 3 it will be somewhere here So these rays are somewhat going like this. Okay, these are going like this. <coughs> we have to put a screen such that the spot size is the smallest so for smallest spot size just you have to see the geometrically situation has to be seen geometrically uh, suppose let us make a screen here suppose this is the screen and put it at different different locations suppose i put the screen at this location if I put the screen at this location, then you can see the spot size due to red. The spot size is this. This is the spot size due to red. Sorry, this is the spot size due to red, and this uh, due to this green extremities. This is the spot size. So obviously the spot size will be this. This is the spot size. So this length is the spot size. If we move this screen, if I move this screen in this direction obviously the spot size will decrease the spot size will decrease the spot size will decrease here due to red the spot size will be somewhat like a point but spot size uh, size will be determined by this uh, green rays this green rays starting from this point till this point so spot size decreases as i move towards right again if I move towards right, that is spot size decreases, 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 spot size decreases, 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 spot size decreases. Now, spot size decreases till this and now if I move this screen, now you can see due to green, the spot size decreases but due to red, the spot size again increases. So, spot size increases, 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 increases and at this particular location, spot size due to green will be somewhat like a point. It will be focused but due to red, uh, the spot size will be like this from this point to this point. And again, you can see the spot size now continuously increases, spot size continuously increases, increases, increases. Again, move uh, in the opposite direction, decreases, 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 and it is the minimum, and again, increases, increases, increases. So, I think it is very clear that spot size will be smallest when we keep, when we keep the screen here. So, this is the perfect location for the smallest, smallest diameter of the spot. So, we have to find this distance. Let us mark the distances here. So, this distance was 20 by 3. This was 20 by 3. This distance is 20 by 3. This distance uh, is obviously 20. This is 20 centimeter. And uh, we are interested in finding this distance. This we have to calculate. Suppose this distance. Uh, is unknown distance for us and this is 20 by 3 centimeter and this is 20 centimeter for calculating the distances you can just use the geometry and use the similar triangle concept uh, this height here will be 0 0.5 because total it is 1 so this is 0 0.5 and uh, this height is obviously now 2.5 this is 2.5 centimeter so we can use geometry and similar triangle concept and by using similar triangle concept we can easily find the distances also we can use this is this point we are interested in this point and this point is uh, the intersection point of this uh, green one and this red one 
if you find the equation of these two straight lines and then find their point of intersection that will also give us the same result so i am just uh, using these two equation rather than using the equilateral uh, rather than using similar triangle concept so equation of this green line will be uh, i am taking this as the x axis and uh, this is my y axis this is y axis so equation of this green line will be in intercept form we can write very easily so this green line this x intercept is 20 so this is x by 20 and uh, this is y by uh, y intercept is 2.5 y upon 2.5 this is equal to 1 so this is the equation of that green line and for red line we have to use this we have to use this one obviously this is again 0 0.5 this distance is 0 0.5 so for the red line the equation will be x divided by this x intercept is a positive this is 20 by 3 plus y divided by this y intercept is negative here this is minus 0 0.5 this is equal to 1 and uh, we can very easily solve these two equations and by solving these two equations we can find the value of x and that x will be this distance so x is coming out to be 15 centimeter so we have to place the screen at a distance of 15 centimeter from the combination of lenses.